President Obama okays authorization for DREAMers. The Department of Homeland Security on June 15 issued an announcement that it is making major immigration policy change that promises to help approximately 1 million young immigrants known as DREAMers. Effective immediately, the Department of Homeland Security will temporarily spare many young illegal immigrants from deportation and grant them authorization. This relief will be valid for two years and will be the subject to renewal under a process known as Deferred Action. The young people the President is talking about are those who came to the U.S. under the age of 16 and have continuously lived in the U.S. for at least five years prior to June 15, 2012. They must also be under 30 years old and are currently in school, graduated from high school, or obtain a general education development certificate, or are honorably discharged veterans of the Armed Forces of the United States. While it is not an amnesty or immunity, it provides tremendous relief for the dreamers. Many welcome halt deport order. On the same week, President Obama announced his order to halt deportation of immigrants brought to this country by their elders without proper documentation, Jose Antonio Vargas appeared on the cover of Time magazine to reinforce his message as founder of DefineAmerica.com. Vargas has been advocating for immigration reform that would give path to naturalization. So when the President's order was announced, Vargas cheered and announced on Facebook calling the move a momentous and historic event. Many Filipino Americans cautiously celebrated the news as a victory for Vargas and others who emerged from hiding to gain legal documentation. Without the efforts of Antonio Vargas, Carla Navoa, J.B. Librojo, and thousands of other dreamers and their supporters, President Obama would not have made his election year move. This executive order signals that the immigration rights is organizing and is working and now more than ever we need to continue to push for an end to family petition backlogs and legalization for all <music> philippine goes after tax evader the cash-strapped philippine government announced a campaign to chase tax dodging lawyers doctors accountants and athletes accusing them of cheating the country out of billions of dollars. Fewer than a third of the 1.7 million self-employed business people and athletes paid taxes in 2010, according to the Finance Department. This hard-to-tax group of taxpayers will be this year's focus of the Bureau of Internal Revenue. In fact, the Bureau has started filing tax evasion charges against high-profile professionals and businessmen. Most did not file annual income tax returns and many failed to issue receipts to customers, making it difficult for the tax office to monitor their earnings. Others made up bloated expenditures to cut their tax liabilities. As a result, salaried workers who have part of their income automatically deducted and remitted to the government collectively provide for about 12.5% of the annual revenue collection while businessmen and other high-earning professionals provided just 2%. Flag planting in Shoal triggers protest at the United Nations. The Filipino-American leaders rejoin their Vietnamese allies and other leaders in front of the United Nations to express their anger at China's recent aggressive claims over the West Philippine Sea in the Penatag Shoal and the Vietnam Sea. This week, the People's Republic of China Embassy in Manila posted on their website a photo of their naval officers planting a Chinese flag on the contested shoal in violation of international laws and their early assurance to the Philippine government that they would avoid provocations and defuse tensions. Panatag in Tagalog means tranquil and peaceful. It is the much-disputed clump of island and reefs in the West Philippine Sea. China's ships have not withdrawn from the area despite China's promise made to the Philippine government to diplomatically resolve the situation. 
Top comedian Dolphy is fighting for his life. The Philippines' top comedian Dolphy has been in intensive care since June 20th when his hemoglobin level plunged dangerously according to Philippine reports. He is in a very critical state. His kidneys are malfunctioning according to actor Eric Kizen, son of the veteran entertainer. According to the family of Dolphy, they are hoping for a miracle but they will accept whatever fate would be accorded to him. He is in and out of consciousness and it can happen anytime. The actor, whose health has been the subject of much speculation for the past few months, will be 84 this coming July. And this has been your weekly news report brought to you by the premier newspaper in the Bay Area, The Philippine News. David Rodriguez, signing off.